Praise the Lord, and thank you for tuning in to another time of Kingdom Empowerment. I'm Pastor John Thomas, and I'm just so excited, so excited of the Lord that, that you, you have tuned in on today. Listen, I'm, I, God has a word for you. He has a word for you. I'm just so excited and supercharged on today. Listen, God has a word to encourage you to heal you, to deliver you, come on, to break you through to your next dimension in him. Hallelujah. He has a word for you that's going, that will change everything. Come on, that will bring the change that you need. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. So that you can be in, empowered. Come on, a, a word to empower you and encourage you on today. Come on, if you need encouragement, come on, today is the day. Come on. That's why God had you tune in on today because he's, he's got some good gospel news for you. Hallelujah. And I am excited about what God has in store for you on today. Hallelujah. Come on. You know how we do here in Kingdom Empowerment? Come on, we get right into the word. Hallelujah. So go ahead and open your Bibles. Begin to open your Bibles to 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 8 through 17. 2 Kings chapter 4, beginning with verse 8 through 17. <coughs> While you're in the process of, of turning your pages or even getting your Bible, I'm going to go ahead and pray. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, Lord, we just thank you, Father God, for this time. Of, of getting your word. Now, Lord, I ask that you would speak to your people, Father God. Lord, I, I decrease so that you may increase. Lord, speak through these lips of clay, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Father God, that would bring change in the lives of the hearer. Father God, that would, that would shift, hallelujah, that would bring a shift to them, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Well, Father God, some of them need to shift, Lord, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And I just thank you for what you're about to do. Now, Father, while the gospel of the kingdom is being preached, Lord, I thank you, Father God, for the signs, wonders, and miracles that follow, Father God. Lord, I thank you for healing, Father God. I thank you for deliverance. I thank you for miracles, signs, and wonders taking place while the gospel is being preached. And I thank you for it right now, Father God. And I thank you that the devil is bound. There's nothing that he can do about it. And I give you glory for everything that you are doing now, Lord. I thank you that your presence is filling the room right where they are right now. The angels are stationed all in the room at every doorway, blocking the enemy from coming in, Father God. Lord, I thank you for it, that they are having an encounter with you on today. In Jesus' precious name, amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Second Kings chapter four, verses eight through 17. And I'm going to be reading out of the King James, the King James Bible, the new King James, the new King James. Beginning with verses, it said, now it happened. First of all, right there, those three words, you ought to just jump and shout <laughs> right there. Now it happened. Come on. What happened? Everything that God just promised you just happened. How do, come on, you need to catch that prophetically. Some things, come on, you can can you 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 can you can get that there's some things you just got to catch. Hallelujah. Now it happened. Verse 8. Now it happened one day that Elijah went to shoot to the to Shunema, where there was a notable woman, and she persuaded him to eat some food. So it was as often as he passed by, he would turn in there to eat some food. And she said to her husband, look now, I know that this is a holy man of God who passes by us regularly. Please let us make a small upper room on the wall and let us put a bed for him there and a table and a chair and a lampstand. So it will be whenever he comes to us, 
he can turn in here. And it happened. Hmm. One day that he came there and he turned to the upper room and lay down there. Then he said to Gehazi, his servant, call this Shunammite woman. When he called her, she stood before him and he said to him, say now to her, look, you have been concerned for us with all this care. What can I do for you? Hmm. Do you want me to speak on your behalf to the king or to the commander of the army? She answered, I dwell among my own people. So he said, what then is it to be done for you? And, Ge and Gehazi answered, actually, she has no son and her husband is old. Hmm. So he said, call her. And when he called her, she stood in the doorway. Then he said, about this time next year, you shall embrace a son. <laughs> and she said, no, my Lord, man of God, don't lie to me, your maidservant. But the woman conceived and bore a son when the appointed time had come, of which Elijah had told her. Hallelujah. I just, I just want to make an announcement to you right now <clears throat> that your miracle is on the way. Hallelujah. Come on, you. I, I know you're excited. I know you're praising. Come on, that's a word from God for you that your miracle is that, wait a minute, catch this. It's not just on the way. Now it just happened. Come on. Hallelujah. Give him praise for that. Give him praise for that. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to his name. You know, one thing that I love about this particular text is that she made a place for the man of God. But I, I don't want you to just focus on the man, but I want you to see Jesus in this. She made a place for the word. Can I tell you that the word of God is the power of God? Hmm. In other words, when you get you a word of healing, come on, you that your healing, it comes from the word, which is Jesus, right? Catch this. So... In essence, she made room for that word. She made room for that, for, for that promise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. She made room for it. The text says that every time they, he would come by, they would watch him, and then they would give him something to eat. So they said, well, let's make a place for him. Let's make a place for the man of God, or let's make a place for the word was make room for what we want. They wanted him to come and stay in the upper room. Now, I want you to understand something. They didn't, he, he, they didn't already have it. They had to build it. So they made, they, 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 they built an addition to their home just to house the prophet of God. Okay? Now, this, this, this is what I want you to get. Hallelujah. 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 They made room. Verse 11, listen to this. And it happened one day that he came there and he turned into the upper room and laid down there. Then he said to Gehazi, his servant, call the Shunammite woman. And when he called her, she stood before him and he said to him, and he, and, he, and he said to him, say now to her, look, you have, you have been concerned for us with all this care. What can I do for you? All she had to do was just tell him what she wanted. Can I tell you right now, all you got to do is just tell the Lord what you want. <laughs> Hallelujah. And he'll bring it to pass. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to his name. He said to the... I ask her, what, she, what do she want? What do you want from God? What do you want from God? See, because God, listen, get, look, look, I'm, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting ahead of myself. Listen. Then he said to her, he said, call the my woman. And when he had called her, she stood before him. And, and he said, to him, say now to her, look, you have been concerned for us with all I care. What can I do for you? 
Do you want me to speak on your behalf <laughs> to the king or to the commander of the army? She answered, I dwell among my own people. So, so he said, what, what then is it to be done for her? What, is it, what, what can we do for her? And then Gehazi answered, actually, she has no son. Her husband is old. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Her husband was old, so therefore they, they, they was in a place where they could not conceive any children. Hmm. So he called her, and when he had called her, she stood in the doorway. Then he said, about this time next year, you shall embrace a son. Hmm. He released the word over her. He said, by this time next year, you're going to have a son. And I love her response. She said, she said, man of God, don't lie to me. Come on, don't proper lie to me. <laughs> don't, don't play no games. I ain't got time for no games. Come on, tricks is for kids. Come on, I, don't, I, I ain't got time for no games. Don't play with me. My husband is old. Ain't nothing happening. <laughs> My husband is old. Would you, what, what you're saying is impossible. Verse 17 says, but the woman conceived and bore a son when the appointed time had come of which Elijah had spoke to her. What am I trying to say to you? What am I trying to say to you? I'm trying to tell you that your, not only is your miracle on the way, but what God is getting ready to release to you. Listen, he's not releasing, he's not releasing something to you that, that, that you that you've had before. He's trying to give you something that you've never had. He's trying to give you something that, that is completely impossible. Come on, in your mind, but he's, go, he's about to make it possible. So whatever you've been believing for that you know is completely impossible, that's completely ridiculous, he's going to make it happen for you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to his name. Somebody say, by this time next year, hallelujah, I'm about to have the impossible. The very thing, come on, that, that, that I didn't think that could ever happen to me. Come on, maybe that impossible thing to you is a house because your credit is in a place where, come on, you, you, it's, you can't get nothing. But God turns that thing around for you. Come on. And, 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 and he blesses you, with, blesses you with a house. Whatever that thing is that you feel is impossible, God is getting ready to change the game for you. Come on. He's getting ready to release a blessing to you. Hallelujah. That's going to blow your mind. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. All you need is a word and connect your faith to that word. Hallelujah. Come on. This is your word right now. Hallelujah. God is ready to give you not what you had before, but something that you've never had. Something that you've always wanted, but you've never had. Hallelujah. He's going to release that to you. Come on. I, maybe you've never had love. Come on. But love's is getting ready to come to you. Mmm. My God, hallelujah. Glory to his name. Glory to his name. Maybe you never, maybe you never had a relationship with your father, but he, God is ready to heal that relationship. Maybe, come on, mm, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Maybe you never met your parents. Maybe you was given away in, 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 in adoption. You've been looking for your parents. Come on, you're ready to have an encounter with them. Come on, because that was completely impossible for you to even locate them. Hallelujah. God is getting ready to move on your behalf. Hallelujah. He's getting ready to move on your behalf. He's getting ready to move on your behalf. Glory to his name. I know some of you watching you, some of you acting like the woman right here. Man of God, don't lie to me. Man of God, please don't prophesy lie to me. I done had enough prophets say a whole bunch of stuff. I'm still waiting for it to come to pass. Listen, I'm telling you, God is getting ready to bless your, mm, get ready to bless your socks off. 
He, God is ready to come on. He's ready to do such a miracle in your life. He's going to blow your mind. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. Listen, all you got to do is just believe the word. Come on, believe, come on. Believe the word of the prophet, huh? And you shall prosper. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God is getting ready to bless you. Get ready to bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. All because, come on, she made room. Hmm. Can I thank you, Lord? Hallelujah. I hear the Lord saying, begin to make room for what you want. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let, let, let me give you a good example. When you know, when you or when you when you when you know that you get ready to have a baby, what do you do? You start looking for baby stuff. You 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 start planning a baby shower. You 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 buy a a, a bassinet. You you start buying things for the baby, even though the baby isn't here. But you know that it's coming because you're expecting it. <sighs> Hallelujah. You know that it's coming. And because you know that it's coming, you start making room. Even though you don't see, you start making room for it. You start making preparations for it. Oh, my God, are you hearing what I'm trying to say to you? Start making preparations for what you are believing. Come on, start making preparations for the impossible. Because God is ready to bless you with something not that you had before, but something that you never had. The, the very thing that you never had is the thing that you felt was impossible. But all things are possible to them that believe. Hallelujah. If you believe the word that I'm releasing over you right now, start making preparations. Hallelujah. Start making room for what you believe in God for. That promise that God, come on, promised you, that God promised you that you've been waiting for you and you feel like, well, it's impossible. Oh, it's not going to happen. and it, 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 It's not going to happen. I, I'm, I'm losing faith. See, this is why God had you tune in today, you know, because you, you, you've gotten weary in your faith and, he's, and he, had you, he had you tune in today to hear this word, the supercharger, it's just so he can let you know that I'm still coming. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. But she made preparations. She knew that he was coming. Oh, you, you don't believe me. Okay, okay, okay. We can just go right back. We go right back. Verse 8. Now it happened one day that Elijah went to, the, went to Shunema, where there was a notable woman, and she persuaded him to eat some food. So it was as often as he passed by. He would turn in there to eat some food, and she said to her husband, Look now, I know that this, this is a holy man of God who passes by us regularly. So she knew that he was going to be passing by. She expected to see him. My God. So she was already, even though he wasn't there, she was already expecting to see him coming. To see him pass by. So because she knew that he was coming, so she, she looked at her husband. She talked to her husband. And she said to her husband, said, look now, I know that this is a holy man of God who passes by us regularly. Please let us make a small upper room on the, on the wall and let us put a bed for him there and a table and a chair and a lampstand. So it will be whenever he comes to us, he can turn in there. They made room. My God. Listen, God told me to tell you, just make room for what you want. Start making preparations for what you want. And expect it. Listen, faith without works is dead being alone. Listen, if you start making room for it, it's going to show up. I said, if you start making room for it, it's going to show up. If you start making the preparations for it, it's going to show up. It's going to manifest. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to his name. Come on, she made room. 
she made room. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. She knew, she knew that he was going to be coming that way. So in other words, she understood the pattern. She knew that he was going to, she said, he passes by here regularly. So because he passes by here regularly, and I know that, let's make a place for him. Because we want him to come and stay at our house. My God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Glory to his name. Come on, your miracle is on the way. Your miracle is on the way. Your miracle is on the way. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, I don't care what it looks like. You just keep believing. You just start making preparations for what you are believing God for and watch it come. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, there was a, there was a particular car that I, that I liked and I wanted very badly. So I just started believing God in faith. When I started believing God in faith, every time I turn around, I would see that car drive past. And when I see that car drive past, I kept saying, thank you, Lord. Every time I seen it, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And then I start preparing myself for it. Come on, I start getting saving money. Come on. Put money aside for it. And I said, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. And then the time came where I got blessed with it. <laughs> and the money that I had was just enough to get it. And I didn't pay an arm and a leg for it. But I had to make preparations, and I had to, and I had to believe for what I wanted. And I got it. Hallelujah. If you make room for what you believe in God for, come on, that thing will show up. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Just like when she made room for the man of God, he showed up. Mm. And when he showed up, come on, her and her husband received something that they never had, a son. They received the son. Come on, there, there may be some watching. Mm, thank you, Lord. There is somebody that's watching. You, 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 you and your husband have been trying to, to, to have a child. You've been, you've been trying for a long time. And to no avail, you have, that, you, you have been unsuccessful. Mm. Go back and try again. Don't give up. Don't lose hope. Because your miracle is on the way. Matter of fact, just go on and start buying baby stuff and make a room for it. <laughs> when, you, when you do that, that's when you're going to get pregnant. Hallelujah. Come on, you somebody ought to receive that. Receive it, receive it, receive it. Go on, come on, receive it, receive it. Start making room for the baby. Well, I, I, I've been trying. We, I, we just can't seem to get pregnant. Buy baby stuff. Make room for it, and then go try again, and you'll be pregnant. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Make room for it, and it'll show up. Make room for it, and it will show up. Whatever you believe in God for, make room. And one thing that I love about God, God will always do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you can even ask or think according to the power that works within you. Pastor, what are you trying to say? That whatever you believe in for God is believing for better. And he won't just bring exactly what you believe in for. He's going to bring you better than what you believed. My God, my God. Just make room. Somebody say, just make room. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank bigger. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. When you think bigger, come on. That very thing that you feel like is impossible, God is going to make that thing possible for you. Glory to his magnificent name. Hallelujah. Expect your miracle. Expect your miracle. In the name of Jesus, expect it because it's coming. But you've got to make room. You've got to make room. You've got to make room. Hallelujah. Make room. Come on with your faith. Make room 
with the, getting in that word and, and building your faith up. That, and make room. Make room. See, because you get that word in you, then you can begin to speak and, de and de declare the word of the Lord in faith and begin to prophesy over, there, over that situation. What you believe in God for, come on, you're making room. Come on, you, you, you're doing what you got to do. You're making room, not just in the spirit, but even in the natural for whatever it is that you believe in him for. Hallelujah. And then expect it. And then it'll show up. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I love how in the text in verse 8, it, it begins with three words, now it happened. <laughs> verse 11 begins with three words, and it happened. <laughs> it happened. It happened when they made room. The miracle happened for them when they made room. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands towards me right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I just thank you for your people right now that are watching. Lord, I thank you, Father God, that, that their faith has increased. And, Lord, they are making room, Father God. They're making room. They're expecting. Lord, I thank you, Father God, that you're about to make it happen. In the name of Jesus. Father God, I even pray for those that are sick in their body right now. Lord, I, I speak they're healing now. Lord, I thank you, Father God, that healing is being made manifest. Lord, I thank you, Father God, they have made room with their faith, believing you that they that you are their healer. Now, Lord, I thank you that now it has happened. Lord, I thank you that they are healed now. I thank you that they, that they are receiving their miracle now in the name of Jesus. Now, by faith, begin to do what you couldn't do right now in the name of Jesus. You're going to know that it just happened for you, that you've been healed and you just got your miracle. Hallelujah. Now, those of you that are watching, maybe you don't know the Lord, but you want to know him. You know, you, you want to receive him in your heart. Just repeat after me, Lord Jesus, I believe you died on the cross for my sins and rose from the grave for me. Now, Lord, I ask that you will come and live in me and I will submit my life totally under your Lordship in the name of Jesus. Now, say this with me. Now, Satan... You no longer have power over my life anymore. I belong to Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen, 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 amen. Listen, heaven is rejoicing, and I'm rejoicing with you because you just came into the kingdom. Now, what I want you to do, I want you to go find a good Bible, believe in church, but while you're looking, I want you to come here. Come visit us here at Kingdom Empowerment Ministries here in Port Huron. Here in Port Huron, come join us. Our address is 2700 Pine Grove Avenue here in Port Huron. Our Sunday services are at 12 noon, and our midweek service, which is our recharge service, is at 7 o'clock. Listen, I love you. Your miracle has just happened, and I'll see you next time for your kingdom empowerment. God bless.